Batsman Kusal Pereira smashed 66 of 37 to help Sri Lanka beat India by five wickets in the first T20I of the Nidahas Tri Nation Trophy in Colombo. Put into bat first, India lost two early wickets, but opener Shikhar Dhawan steadied things and scored 90 of 49 balls to help his side post 174 for five in 20 overs. In response, Sri Lanka took control of the match in the first six overs itself as they scored at nearly 30 in an over. Pereira was well supported by the middle order as the hosts won the match with nine balls to spare. Australia pace bowler Mitchell Stark has reached a career-best fifth position among bowlers in the ICC Test Player Rankings after his Player of the Match performance in Durban against South Africa. That helped his side win by 118 runs and take a 1-0 lead in the format series. The left-arm pacer finished with a nine-wicket haul which enables him to jump five spots above Mornay Morkel, Rangana Herat, Vernon Philander, Ravichandran Ashwin and Neil Wagner. Dale Stain believes the demerit points hanging over Kagiso Rabada has handicapped South Africa's ability to be as noisy in the field as Australia. Rabada currently has five demerit points and has already faced a one-match ban against England last year. If he collects three more points, he will be suspended for a minimum of two tests. Stain also said that due to these instances in the past, Rabada has handcuffs around him and he also believes this is unfair. Andre Russell will miss the remainder of the PSL season with a hamstring injury he picked up on Sunday. Russell, who plays for Islamabad United, pulled his right hamstring early on in his sides contest against Karachi Kings, which ended with Islamabad inflicting Karachi's first defeat of this year's PSL campaign. This is Russell's first tournament after his return from a one-year ban for a doping violation that ended in January 2018. Australia's David Warner may be suspended after he and South Africa's Quinton de Kock were both charged by the ICC for their stairwell confrontation in Durban, with both teams having until Wednesday to respond to the charge. Both have been charged under the catch-all ICC Code of Conduct clause of conduct that brings the game into disrepute, following the episode that marred the Kingsmead test. But Warner faces a more serious Level 2 charge and de Kock a less serious Level 1. The difference in seriousness means Warner can still be banned for one test match, but the heaviest penalty facing de Kock is a fine.